National Handball League has been concluded in Lagos. Uh, what the winners? Niger United. They sustained their momentum from the first phase in Abuja. Came to Lagos. Didn't look at anybody's face. Went on to win the trophy. Played two peacocks. Won that of the women's category. Customers, you were following this. Uh, was it really competitive being the maiden edition? In fact, I was part of it. Mm. Um, it was very, very competitive. I mean, the phase two itself was quite competitive. Now, let me start from the women. Played two peacocks. We are third from the first phase. Wow. And somehow, they upstage safety babes hmm. to get to the first and they maintain that momentum and of course they are there right now of course niger united despite you know the fact that the other teams were much more improved from the first phase you know continue the momentum make sure that they nicked it and of course they won with 35 points um on the last day hmm. um in that one and of course both teams i'm talking niger united and play to peacocks of okay. course um aside getting a um, one million naira cash prize yeah. for winning the league yeah. yes they will be representing nigeria at the africa um champions cup uh, they call it the Africa Club Championship. Mm. Yes. Now and it's this year. And it's this year. Now the second, mm. the second, the second is uh, uh, um, uh, um, um, Lagos Seasiders for the men, and um, one other team I, I can't remember right now. Those two will be representing Nigeria in the African Club Cup Winners Cup. Beautiful. The, That's the continuity we yeah. always talk about. So. Uh, it's the maiden edition of the league, and the winners will still be busy this year. It will give you an, another opportunity to talk about handball, to assess the progress of the sport. So congratulations to Niger United. And of course, our customers said it, look, they said we were third from the first phase, but we will not leave here without winning. And play two pickups, went on to win uh, the women's category. Some pictures for you, information that you can use. The maiden edition of the National Handball League has ended in Lagos. And we love it, we, we like it, you know, and we said, if you've, if you've got some time, go to the Rowe Park Centre, though it has ended, but it gives you another opportunity to understand the game of handball. Yes, certainly. I mean, uh, uh, handball, handball is a very simple sport that can I be understood. Fast-paced kind of game with multiple uh, substitution, um, unlike football that is limited to three or four, but this is multitude substitution. And of course, it is so a very interesting sport every day for the two weeks that um the second phase was being held at the Rope Park sports center this indoor sport hall was filled to capacity every day that um uh, uh, this competition held even when uh, some of the teams had to play outdoor it was still filled to capacity and it was a very very interesting one we saw teams traditional teams that can be able to do this country proud with a bit of uh, uh, um, uh, a bit of training and all now apart from that the handball federation of nigeria under them uh, two teams qualify for the world championship we're talking about the under 18 team and of course the under 20 mm -hmm. team that qualified for the world championship for the first time since 1985 so it means that the federation are doing good things yeah. and they can only continue that's right so it's handball and it's the maiden edition of the league and that was a good save uh, by the goalkeeper uh, right there samuel ocheo is the president of the handball federation of nigeria he's excited and giving his reaction after the maiden edition of the handball league ended in lagos let's listen to him Excited! Everything about it is wonderful. I think I feel fulfilled uh, from what I've seen so far. The quality of play, the quality of organization, the quality of everything that has gone into this game. I think I'm impressed and I'm so glad. For now, we're not planning to expand it. Uh, we'll maintain this number. And I think what will happen is we'll keep doing our other competitions and everybody will be well catered for. There's actually promotion and there's relegation. Well, this is the Premier League, so it is going to be more of relegation because there's nowhere to promote anybody to anymore. So to the last two teams will actually be relegated, and we're going to organize the Division One that will promote two more players. I mean, two more teams to join the Premier League. So that's right, President of the Handball Federation of Nigeria. Samuel Ocheo giving us some um, reactions from the just concluded league. And um, you mentioned relegation. Yeah. 
relegations like teams like prison key boys that uh, didn't win any game uh, yeah they are going to be relegated as well prison. so nah they'll, uh, as he said as, as Samuel yeah, yeah. Ocho said um, of course there will be uh, the, um, the the lower league games the division and of course um, the best teams there can get um, uh, a promotion back to um, the handball league or the Premier League has been called. So for me, um, I, I see I see a lot of continuity in this one. Um, of course, uh, uh, aside the leagues, there are other competitions as well that can be used to develop the sport. Mm. There's an there's a national under under 15 championship, you know, different championship, um, secondary school games, um, university games as well. Mm. Of course, there is also a national championship that is being uh, sponsored by the president himself of the Samuel Lucho National Championship too. So handball. for me, mm. more handball, yeah. everything. And it's one of those sports that are trying as much as possible to be self-reliant mm. from the sports ministry. Beautiful. And I think they are doing a good job of it. And when they do such good job, it takes the pressure off football. And that's what I want, you know. Uh, so we can get to talk about other sports. Nigeria is too big for us just talking about football. And when you organize a league, it's systematic. It's planned. It goes through a process. So it's not just the federation that is involved. Coaches, players, technical teams. So let's listen to uh, the coaches and players that are featured at the National Handball League. That's part of the development I'm talking about. It's all about determination and hard work. Yes, we are determined because what we what we did in the first first, we actually tried because safety babes are always at the top. So we went back home and we have worked. Our coaches have worked so hard on all so that we became champion. I'm happy, over happy. I'm overwhelmed today carrying this trophy as the number one for the first time in Premiership Humble League. We feel great because this keep the event alive, the Humble alive. Before the Humble was sinking, but now it has been lifted higher. So we are happy. So that's it, uh, the power of sports. I keep telling you it transforms lives and I look at all of those players from play to pick up players to of course, Niger United, um, sports can be used to empower the youth. Yes, certainly. I mean, uh, uh, we've seen a lot of youth um, in this competition. Mm. Um, very, very young teams. Um, um, teams like Edu Dynamos in the Women's League. Very young team. Teams like the Lagos Seaside, Bibs. Bibs. Babes, mm. uh, <laughs> babes, exactly. I've seen some young girls yeah, there. Yeah, In fact, yeah. one particular one actually does three sports. Oh, so, wow. I mean, three sports. She does um, some judo, I mean, uh, wrestling, handball, and one of the sports. So, for me, it has been a fantastic one to yeah. be able to discover um, youth, you know, empower them to play sports. Nice.